We're gonna try something a little different today. There's just something that is bothering me a lot, and I don't know how this mic sounds, but I was working out. You can see, I'm sweaty. I didn't necessarily want to work out. I didn't want to go to the gym after, let's see, we're probably 12, 13 hours into the workday, and I probably still have three hours left. The reason why I'm hopping on this, because I'm sick and tired of the victimhood mentality. In my opinion, I think it's horrible for society. I think it's awful for society. What are you talking about, Bob? Well, while I was working out today, I started listening to this new Southwest Airlines headline. Let's see here. Southwest Airlines has now released a unique policy of allowing overweight passengers, overweight passengers, two seats with no extra charge. Do we think this is good for society? Like I said, do I want to be sweaty right now? No. When did we start getting to the point where it's okay to reward laziness? If you're fat, you're lazy in some capacity. I'm sorry. You know why I know this? I know this because guess what? I'm holding a little more weight than I should be. I wouldn't say I'm fat, but I'm definitely not in perfect shape. You want to know why? It's because I'm lazy. I eat poorly. I have chosen to put other things before my eating habits, right? So I've chosen to say, I'm going to work for more hours and I'm not gonna cook for myself. I don't use that kitchen. If I'm not with Ashley at home in Minnesota, like I'm here right now in Arizona, I'm not cooking. I'm going out for every meal. It's quick, it's simple. I don't need to think about it. Boom, boom, boom. That's lazy. And you know what? For several years there, I didn't make working out a priority. I have just started over the last year, start working out every single day. You know why? It's because I don't want to be fat anymore. So how are we supposed to encourage society to get better? How are we supposed to encourage them to get in better shape, to have better eating habits, do things that genuinely enhance their life? You realize when you are obese, you are making your life worse. You are decreasing your lifespan. It leads to higher chances of cancer. Um, just straight up, it's not good for your joints. It's not good for you. But now we have big companies in America that are saying, hey, you know what? You deserve a little reward for being lazy. You deserve an extra gift for not working as hard. That is a problem. And the reason why I'm making this too is because you know what? It bleeds into everyday society. This victimhood mentality, this egotistical idea that everyone is so amazing that their feelings can't get hurt. Guess what? My feelings get hurt every day. As an entrepreneur, straight up, you fail every day. You get rejected every day. You feel stupid every day. Something doesn't go right every day. Like, it's just part of the game. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a part of life. That's a part of growth. That's a part of pushing. The wife is calling, but I'm gonna have to call her later because we're in the middle of a video. Ashley, I love you, but I'm sorry. Give me a couple minutes. That's a part of life. And if us as a society just keeps going over the top of just like, helping promote the victimhood mentality stop if we just keep promoting like hey if you make a mistake there's no consequences if there's laziness involved there's no consequences like you're just fine you're perfect the way you are i mean this bleeds into things like we are doing a lot of interviews at three timbers right now we have roughly hmm, 10 to 15 people apply a day and you know, we're really trying to find high quality people. It's really important to find high quality people. We have high standards at our company, like really high standards. Like we go above and beyond other landscaping companies because that's what we want to build, right? And today, for example, we have this policy where if you show up late to an interview, we don't interview you. So today, what happened? I'm doing a bunch of interviews. Someone showed up 15 minutes late to an interview right? No excuse, no nothing. They said, sorry, I just got busy. I said, no worries. I said, thank you for coming. I appreciate your time, but we don't need to conduct this interview. The guy looked at me and he goes, wow, that's your loss. I'm like, I'm sorry, maybe it is my loss. But the truth of the matter is you didn't show up and you didn't give it your all. Therefore, I don't need to give you a second chance. 
I don't need to gift you another shot. Just like this whole obesity thing, you didn't give it your all. Now you're uncomfortable in your airplane, on your, in your seat on the airplane. Guess what? We don't need to gift you anything for that. And you know, it's important if we go back to the interview process, sorry, I am just sweating like a pig. If we go back to the interview process, something you have to remember is like, you are seeing the best that people have to offer. You know, I, strangely, this probably semi relates to flights too. For two or three hours of time that you spend on a flight sitting next to someone, it's probably like the most well-behaved they are the whole week because they don't wanna be embarrassed sitting next to you and another person. They don't wanna do anything that's out there and wild, right? So it's the same thing as an interview. An interview, you have to remember, when you interview with someone, that is legitimately the best 10 or 15 minutes that person can give. So like when that person shows up late, if that's the best they'll ever be, and that's them being late, can you imagine when we get another month down the road if we hired them, how bad they would be? Can you imagine, just like if you're on an airplane, if someone is just treating you like crap, if they're just, you know, being loud on the plane, they give no craps about anybody sitting next to them. Can you imagine how rough they are in real life on a daily basis? That's a society we're creating. And, you know, I must say, we don't need a customer size policy in America. We don't need to baby people in interviews for showing up late and giving them second chances. People need to take responsibility because believe it or not, there are people in society that do take responsibility. Some of us are held to a way higher standard than what rest of society wants to hold most people to. I'm not complaining about my job, but believe it or not, if we make a mistake, if there's someone in our company that makes a mistake, a customer will yell at me. Guess what? I'll take ownership. That's my fault. Like, that's my fault. I didn't have the right systems in place. I didn't have the right management in place. It was my fault at the top that someone below made a mistake. I'm held to that standard. Why aren't you held to that standard? Let's all be held to a high standard and let's create a society we can be proud of. Because this, this is an embarrassment. The interviews that I'm going through, the 20 year olds, the 30 year olds, I'm sorry, but a high percentage of them, they are so darn entitled and they think they are such victims that they deserve anything they want. It's an embarrassment. There's gonna be a rude awakening in my opinion and I hope that us as a society, we just turn around and we try to help each other. We try to be better on our own. I know I'm trying to improve every single day and I hope you are too. Let me know what you think of this weird sit down, long form, frustrating rant, but it needed to be done. I needed to get it off my chest and I was like, you know what? I might as well share it with you. I love all of you. I'll see you in the next episode.